Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys a copper penny sorting machine uh, that I'm selling on eBay and this video is to go up on eBay so uh, you can see what you're buying and see that it works and kind of see how it works. Uh, so basically we're going to plug it in. Uh, when you plug it in, you should hear this light beep. Um, you'll also see the red light go on. Um, here's basically what the machine looks like. Uh, 1980 or pennies that are uh, pre-1982 are going to get rejected, or I guess not rejected, but accepted and kicked to the left. Uh, Post-1982 pennies, so 1983 and up, are going to all get kicked to the right here. Um, basically what you're going to do, you're going to go to the bank, buy a $25 box of pennies or as many as you want to go through. Um, here's a bag of ones that I've already sorted. Um, but basically uh, we got a bunch of pennies here, I just busted open a roll. Um, so we'll take a look here. And basically the other thing, uh, you can put cups or whatever you want under here to catch them. Uh, what I think actually works nice, if you got some of the uh, boxes from Brinks or Wells Fargo or whoever, uh, slide one under the left, one under the right to catch them. And that way they're kind of caught and stored all at once. But uh, anything old should get kicked to the uh, left. Anything new should get kicked to the right. So uh, you can see here, sorry it's hard to hold the camera and get the uh, pennies dropped through, but left right, left, right. And if we take a look at the uh, dates and things on these, the two that got kicked to the left are going to be a 1978 and a, another 1978. The two that got kicked to the right here, shiny newer ones, um, that's going to be a, a 2001 and a 1997. I'll drop some more through just so you can kind of see the machine at work. Uh, keep going here. So it's new, 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 old, new. Um, and like you see, I'm holding the camera here and doing it, but you can actually go pretty quick. Uh, you could probably figure out a way how to put like an auto hopper or if nothing else, put a ramp on there. Uh, but I'll show you, you know, you can actually feed it, even hand feeding. Just, you can feed them pretty quick. This is just a loose handful of, uh, oh, oh, the other thing that's nice, if you get a clog, just hit that, it'll clear the clog. But uh, you can see how you can kind of, if you bust it open a roll and kind of pound it and let them roll in there, you can see how you can feed them pretty quick. But if you want to do it even quicker, like I said, you could fit, figure out some kind of ramp or put an auto hopper on there. I actually used uh, some Hot Wheel um, tracks to form a ramp um, when I was doing this kind of more heavily. Um, but you know, if you're not ready to make the five or eight hundred dollar investment in a Rydale machine, uh, this is a good alternative. It's very accurate. I would say over 99% accurate. Um, I'm not making any guarantees because you do. Uh, there are some settings here where you can tweak the, you know, the accuracy of it and things like that. Um, you know, so I don't know what's going to happen during shipping, and you know, you, you know, you, you, it's pretty easy to to tweak and figure out how to make it perfect but you know I mean I think the worst accuracy I ever had was like 99.5 percent um, I would say it should be 99.5 and up but uh, yeah cool little machine um, selling it on eBay I'm not I'm kind of into some other things besides the uh, cop, copper penny hoarding um, but uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to uh, ask a question uh, below um, on eBay in the uh, ask question section thanks